Okay, so you know we've all been talking about Christy Annis's charity, Peace for Prosperity, and she gave us all these black eyed peas, and I'm like, Kathy, what are we gonna do with all these crazy black eyed peas? So of course we get creative. We're gonna make a black eyed pea cake. So um, first, what are we going to do, Kathy? What should I do? We're going to start off by chopping and sautéing the celery. Sautéing the celery. I'm going to okay. clean it first. I'm I only hurt others. <laughs> <laughs> I only hurt others. Watch out. I'll cut you. I'm just keep boring headless, you know. Okay. All right. There. Now we're just adding a little of the filler, unfortunately. A little breadcrumbs. With the eggs, it kind of makes it stick together, so we have something to kind of cut into. Let me eat. Let me get in there and see what that looks like. Mm -hmm, yum. Oh my goodness, that looks fancy. I'm gonna take over your chocolate chores. Yeah, today. I'm just gonna sit back here and stare. We're adding corn to our little corn to our crab. Wow, I'm so generic that. looking. <laughs> oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay, we have a bit of a problem. The peas are not soft enough to mash. They're hard. Kathy, I thought you, you made them. Kathy, really? The professional Christy, she got them soft. I'll call her right now. The peak Thank God for the Blackberry and Verizon Network. Looking for a sponsorship, remember, Verizon. Uh, let's see, Christy, anus, no anus. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I mean, I have to make these black eyed pea cakes so at least this film looks worth watching. Crap. Mm -hmm. She's not gonna answer because she's screening my call. That's what these new phones are for. Who sends a fax via? I don't even know what that means. Hey, Christy, this is Barry, live from the kitchen at the house. Listen, we're trying to make these black eyed pea cakes, and for some reason, your pea recipe is not working. Yes. How do I soften these peas? I can't mash them up. I need you to call me back, please. Bye. Hopefully, she'll call me back. You know, that's how we do it. We screen each other's calls and see who calls each other first. Hmm? I soaked them overnight. What, what'd you do? I soaked them overnight. I cooked them for 30 minutes. And they're still hard. Don't make me look bad. Well, it smells very... Holy crap, where's my glass? wine bottle. I'm not telling anyone about this, Kathy, except YouTube. And uh, the bottle looks really pretty. It's fabulous. Why did you buy a screw top? I didn't know it was. I mean, I thought we had a cork collection <laughs> trying to fill up your coffee table in there. And I was trying to make a mirror. Well, fine. Can't do anything with this except recycle it, which you make me do. Mash up. Are they mashing up okay? Well, let's just say they're wannabes. Is it working, Kathy? Kathy, is it working? I think it is. Oh! We love it. We love peas. Peas are delicious. See, I'm looking in the wrong way. We love peas. Yeah. Thank you, Christy, for the black eyed peas. Now I feel very prosperitable. Mm hmm. Prosperitable for my tummy. I think we're three days too late, though, Barry. 
I know. I don't. Have to eat I, them on the first. I didn't even celebrate New Year's until the day. I didn't realize it was January. Shoot. Every day's a new year. Every day's a new year. <laughs> Rename this crunchy black eyed pea corn cakes. Uh, we're gonna call it uh, Christiana doesn't call answer my phone call black eyed pea cakes. <laughs> we're gonna to add a little more filling just to give it a little. What, substance. what type of filling? These are just lovely breadcrumbs. How much are you gonna just put a cup? Um, I've added about a half a cup so far, so I'm now I'm adding a cup. You don't, are you kind of like Justin Wilson? I just throw it in there. Is that his name? The old guy that my dad used to like watching? Oh. You know my favorite cook was Julia Child. She was oh, fabulous. Oh, yeah. This is amazing. Now we're just adding a little Worcester sauce. Worcestershire. I never knew which one I should choose how to pronounce. Worcestershire. 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 Kroger brand, of course. Mm, get your points at Shell and Kroger. Okay. You're gonna have to get your sweater out of it. <laughs> mm. 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 Was it as good as your um, last hookup? Mm. Crunchier. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Dirty dish. Vinegar and Tabasco. Good. This is where a, re a, a recipe becomes original. Mm -hmm. We're never gonna remember how to make it again. No, I'll never remember. Oh uh, yeah. Ooh, my lips are already chapped. <laughs> I'm gonna put the stove on medium. We're gonna put a little oil in there. We're gonna take a little. Of our lovely looking crab cake. So you just oh, took a scoop? Me. I keep saying crab cake. It's not a crab cake. It tastes like one. It looks like a crab cake. It's really. But now I can't see. <laughs> okay. I got my glasses on. Okay, so, Kathy, how long do we have this sitting on the stove? I mean, do we. We just let it sit there like it's we're having a good let, time. We're gonna let it simmer for about five, six minutes per side. Shame on. Uh huh. Then we're gonna flip it. How do you flip it with a spatula? Very carefully. Very carefully. And, That's uh, why I'm over here. And then once we flip it, Barry is going to make the romelade sauce. How do I say that? Romelade. 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 Excellent. It's like a motorboat that didn't run. Mm -hmm. This one's gonna have some get up and go. It's gonna be really good. And it's very simple. And anyone can make this because you probably already have the ingredients in your refrigerator. Perfect. Okay, so I told you about this roumelade sauce I wanted to make. First, I'm gonna get mayonnaise. You just need a little bit of mayonnaise. I'm gonna start to squeeze it right into our bowl. This is making ribbons. Ooh. And then, just because we need a little bit of sweetness, but yet a tomato, look at me, haven't even opened it. Oh, this is awkward. Oh, wow. Oh. Ugh. I'm sterile. Okay, so um, we just take a little bit of ketchup. Just enough to give it a little color. Yum, y'all. Then, I'm going to use some Tobasco sauce. Love that stuff. Because I want it to be a little spicy, you know, I need a little heat to help complement those black eyed peas. Kind of like when they make crab cakes and you kind of have that spicy sauce, this is going to help. Just a little bit of that. You don't want too much. A few minutes I'm going to turn it up. And then, give us that nice smoky, you know, like I guess, flavor. I don't know, what, do you, what do you call this? What, 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 what is this? Is it just vinegary? Vinegary know. tasty. It's like, I don't know, it reminds me of steaks. Just that, a little bit of that. And give it a little tartness, of course, vinegar. And this is the best vinegar. This is rice vinegar. I love this stuff. Rice vinegar tastes so good, so good. I mean, we have all kinds of different vinegars. Don't ever get just plain old cheap ass white vinegar. Get something that's made with, you know, a really good ingredient. So I'm going to put probably about two tablespoons of that. Kathy and I don't measure. Alright, so Old Bay seasoning 
is really good typically on seafood. And a black eyed pea cake actually kind of tastes like a crab cake. And this actually kind of mimics that flavor. So I'm going to put a little bit of Old Bay seasoning in, okay? That's just perfect. Looks great. All right, now, I'm going to taste it now. Get thing up. Kathy, help me with my sauce. It looks beautiful, first of all. The quality, I mean the consistency and the texture, perfect. Thank and you. Now it just comes down to the final tasting stages, where you add a little bit at a time as you go, based on your taste preference. I think it needs a dash of sugar. You think it needs sugar? It sugar is a flavor enhancer. It has nothing to do with sweetening. No, but do you think, I mean, did you like it? I loved it. It just needs a little bit of sugar. Okay, let's put some sugar in it. Mm. Is it good? Let me try mm. it. Next. Dollop. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Is it getting better? That was delicious. Okay, I totally get to pass this class. That's delicious. Voila, we have our first official side of the black eyed pea cake. Pea cake that looks absolutely delectable. Oh my God, everything smells amazing. Barry, these look fabulous. Oh my God, they look amazing. Check it out, we've got our last two oh on the plate up. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, yum. Look at that. Oh, so tender, it's falling apart. Oh. Now, we're just going to put the final touches on this last little baby. So you're just going to put a little bit of drizzle. Oh, that's my sauce. Look at that. It's beautiful. Uh, I like a lot of sauce. This one's I do fine. too. I made a little boo-boo there, so oh, wow. I'll eat that one. It goes with your personality. Gonna... <laughs> Oopsie. Oopsie. And then we're going to just... Oh, that was blurry. Voila! Oh my gosh, Kathy, this looks amazing. This is a meal fit for a mm, king and a queen? Yeah. <laughs> or a southern queen. <laughs> what? I said, what a fun thing to do with black eyed peas. I know, I love amazing. it. Amazing. Okay, so I am going to come over there and have one with you. Come and enjoy. All right, you got some forks. I got the forks. Again, Kathy, amazing. This looks amazing. We right. say amazing a lot, though, Barry. I know, but you know what? It's watered down like, you know, my beer, but... It's okay. It's no, amazing. Kathy, this looks amazing. I can't wait. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Actually, I like it a little crunchy. Mm -hmm. Guys, this is delicious. Fabulous. And fabulous. Sorry. And healthy. I wasn't synchronized. <laughs> uh, yes, I can taste all the, the vegetables, the corn, all the mixtures that you put in here. The onion, the celery. This is such a good idea. It's oh like, my god. It's like way too healthy to be good though. Oh, well, it's got mayonnaise in it. <laughs> and my fingers touched it. Mm, mm. That's amazing. And that sauce gives it that extra kick. Mm. Well, thank you guys for uh, joining us. I'm making black eyed peas. And thank you, Christy Annis. Although you have not returned my phone call. Love you anyway. I'm sure you're very, very busy. Well, thank you and join us next time for our next recipe that we find here in Atlanta.